My aunt, uncle, and cousin lived in a two-story house. I was often over there for holidays and parties. This one July 4th, their neighbor threw a block party. We were all invited over to have fun, swim, and barbecue. Halfway through the barbecue, I had to pee. Nobody had their homes open to the block party. Everything was contained to the streets and driveways. I decided to walk across the street by myself to use my aunt and uncle's bathroom. Before I left, they warned me about something they named Shadow. All they said was, watch out for Shadow. I tried to be quick and get back to the festivities, so I used the bathroom on the first floor. I finished and began to leave the house when I heard footsteps upstairs. I should have been alone. My first thought was that somebody had come in while I was peeing and they had to use the bathroom, so they went upstairs. I called out hello. No response. I began walking up the stairs to see and noticed all the doors were closed down the only hallway. I opened each door to check. Found no one. I walked back downstairs and heard the upstairs toilet flush. I went to check, but as I stepped up on the stairs, I heard running footsteps coming toward me. I turned and booked it outside, and as I did, I saw a shadowy figure cross the upstairs bedroom window. Needless to say, I was terrified of the house, and now I tried to avoid it at all costs. Later, my aunt let me know I had angered Shadow, and my aunt, uncle, and cousin were being aggressively harassed after I left. My family tends to encounter a lot of paranormal activity, and usually when we experience it, something happens or someone dies. Anyway, last night I woke up out of nowhere, having a full-on panic attack. I've never gotten one before. It was full-on fast heartbeat, cold sweats, chills, and a dreadful, horrible feeling, as if I had gotten news someone had died. I wasn't having any nightmares, and I don't even recall dreaming. I started praying for my family. Then I tossed and turned until I finally fell asleep. At 6 a.m. I was getting ready for work, I sat on the bed. As soon as I sat down, I got that same feeling. I was afraid I was going to get in a car crash on my way to work. I didn't mention it to anyone and went about my day. My sister moved into her new place that day. I called her to see how she was doing and she told me that around 2 a.m. she woke up because her bedroom door creaked open and she saw someone peeping in. She thought it was her mother-in-law, who was with her for the night because my sister's husband passed away about a year ago. My sister didn't have her glasses on, but she was able to see the shadow of a head peeking in and her dog growling at the door. Eventually the door slammed open, but no one was there. My sister tried her best to brush it off go back to sleep. After I got off the phone with my sister, my brother texted our group chat, saying he had the weirdest dream. He dreamed that my sister and our niece were in his apartment, and there was a man with them, but the man had no face, and he was pale. He also said he knew that it wasn't our sister or the niece, but things pretending to be them. He said he felt it very vividly, and he kept telling them to go away because he knew it wasn't them. But they kept mocking him. Then he woke up. All of our encounters happened at the same time. Now, as I mentioned before, when paranormal stuff happens, it usually means a life-changing event like a family death will occur soon. This all happened last week. I'm still waiting for something awful to happen.
I was about five years old when this happened. I remember having a dog called Jessica. I loved her. She would always lay by my side and we would be together 24-7. She was a small Jack Russell, white with brown spots. She was not a very energetic dog, but we would always go for walks in my grandmother's garden. I remember it so vividly. It was around Christmas time when I visited my grandparents for the holiday. Everything was going amazing. It was Christmas night when I was helping my grandmother prepare dinner. It was getting pretty boring, so I started making conversation with her. I don't remember how I got on the topic, but I told her how I missed Jessica. She interrupted me by asking, who's that? I explained that she was a dog I had when I was a kid. She was white with brown spots and how we would do everything together. I really missed her. My grandma was shocked and could barely get her words straight. She finally asked, how? Confused, I asked her what she meant by that. She told me that I never had a dog named Jessica. She didn't understand how I'd even know that name. She explained that I never had a dog named Jessica, but she did. She used to take her for walks in her garden. Jessica with brown spots. Jessica was her dog when she was four years old. I never had a dog named Jessica. I'm still freaked out about this to this very day.